Good morning, everybody. Uh, a quick introduction. My name is James Maynard. Um, I'm a managing partner at Vest, uh, Vesna Ventures. We're a startup studio, and our traditional model is to work with uh, engineering firms or research organizations and help them spin out ideas. But every once in a while, uh, my partner Eric and I, we, we come up with an idea that we just kind of want to try out ourselves and to, to practice it. So about a year ago, um, we were chatting, and you, you know every Christmas, you see these news stories, and you, you have the anchor sitting there, and he says, talks about porch pirates. Has anyone ever heard the term porch pirate? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a pirate that sits on your porch. Now, um, <laughs> it, it, the idea of a porch pirate is somebody who comes and steals your packages. You know, you get your Amazon delivery, and it's always funny to me how you can go shopping. You spend all this time online shopping. You you put in your hard-earned money, and you say, I'm gonna, I'm finally gonna pull the trigger. I'm gonna get this this dress or this. You know, this, uh, I always want to say iPod, but they don't have those anymore. I want to get this iPad, <laughs> and it's going to be great, and then I'm just going to go to work, and it's going to sit on my porch for four hours. And so we were thinking, what are some ways we can stop this? And so we came up with this concept of Parcel. And today, it also to want to introduce uh, the people I'm working with is Erica Waite, uh, co-founder of Parcel, and then also Jill Krug, who's our research analyst. And so I'm going to be showing a little bit of data today that I'm standing in front of, good grief. Um, Joe came up with this data, so if you have any specific issues with it, uh, the fly on shirt here, <laughs> you can talk to him. Okay, so 19% of American homeowners have experienced package theft in 2019, uh, pretty high. Uh, when it happens, it seems to happen in neighborhoods consistently, so someone who has uh, a package stolen, it's likely going to happen again. And the average value here is about 140 bucks per package. I, and I'm sure all of you have stories. I had a neighbor uh, recently who had a pair of uh, $800 binoculars stolen off, stolen off his porch. And I don't know why he needed that. 800, it's not my place to say whether he needed those. But So anyways, we came up with this idea. It's fairly simple of a trunk uh, that's connected that you can remotely lock and unlock. So we have our, our, our technology. And, I always want to come up with a really fancy way of saying it, like some IoT-enabled device that's remotely securable. But really, this is a trunk that you can lock remotely from your phone. And you put it on your front porch. We Good battery life here. Uh, you can tether it to your porch. We have a, a safety latch inside, like in the trunk of your car. So if a neighborhood kid climbs in, they can get out fairly easily. Um, and then you can lock and unlock it. And this is, this is our first version of the app where you can check your box status. And so the idea is you're sitting at work. You know you're getting a package. Your trunk is unlocked. The uh, delivery driver comes in. They place it in there. And once it, uh, <coughs> once it gets put in there, then it automatically locks. And you can unlock it from your phone if you need additional, if you need some, to give somebody else access or if you have another package coming. So you can configure the settings how you want. Um, and the different, this is really simple. We wanted to make sure that we didn't kind of overbuild this where it has you know, a number of sensors, because we've seen that people have tried to do this and they just try to do too much. It's simple, it's convenient, secure and private. And I think this is some, something, the privacy issue I want to uh, touch on a little bit later, but it's very important. So our target customer, who do we want to sell this to? Well, actually to you guys here. So you guys are our target customer. We won't spend much more time on the data here. But we, we feel like uh, homeowners uh, you know, in that kind of middle class area uh, can do it, most middle class, 35 million middle class households are owner occupied. And then uh, right now, 77% of US adults shop online. Of those who do, 34% are fairly regular uh, purchasers. <coughs> so people who are getting a lot of packages and uh, are our target customer. So our go-to-market strategy, how are we going to sell this? Well, first off, you know, we have good relationships with uh, companies like Amazon, Wayfair, Groupon, Best Buy, and we would sell through those channels. Then there's also a direct-to-consumer approach where uh, we'd like to sell just straight from our website. Um, and the idea there is we would uh, utilize a social media strategy that kind of, you, you've probably seen it on Facebook or Instagram where someone's like, oh, my stuff got stolen. Here's a picture of the bad guy if you've seen them. Uh, and we want to kind of, people posting that will go and say, hey, have we got a, we got a deal for you. Um, then strategic partners. We have uh, relationships with companies that uh, go door-to-door -door selling home security systems. 
and we would uh, offer this as an add-on product to what they're selling. Competition, um, you know, really the biggest current practice is to leave your package on the porch and just kind of chance it. Uh, motion sensing, video doorbells, the rings, those types of things, lockers at convenience stores or shipping centers. You may see them inside a 7-Eleven or a, sometimes Walmart might have it. You get it shipped there, which, you know, you, you go online shopping so you can go to the store and pick it up. Um, kind of takes the convenience out of it. Or you can provide the package handler access to your home or garage or whatever through, you know, an app. Um, and then there's other solutions here that are kind of trying to propose something in the area of what we're doing. One's a smart, set, uh, smart padlock, which is great, but you can't remotely lock it because, or, you know, once it's, once, it's the, once it's locked, you can't uh, remotely lock and unlock it. A pressure sensing pad that just notifies you that a package has been delivered. And then there's kind of enterprise grade smart mailboxes. Uh, those are good, but they're not terribly, uh, uh, aesthetically, they're not terribly appealing. So uh, the competition summary, um, you know, these are some of the other companies that are going into this area. Won't spend too much time there. Uh, here's our team. Um, so this is me, we have Erica as well, then uh, Barry, uh, he, he's California based, he has great relationships. He spent his entire career in the consumer electronic space and so we'll be using the channels that he's developed uh, to sell this. Our progress, where we are now, um, funding sources. We've self-funded uh, through this next phase which is going to be a focus group. So we've built a product, we've built a Gen 1 product, we're going to build a, a Gen 2 product. will consist of about 50 units and um, what we want to do, and this is one of the asks that we'll have of this group, we're looking to further hone this, this uh, product. We want to get user feedback on look, form, fit, how, what you're looking for to, to put on your porch because this is a little bit different than a lot of technologies because this is going on your front porch. It needs to have curb appeal. And so we also want to look at usability then also uh, efficacy of the delivery driver bringing it to you. So we're self-funding through that round and we plan, uh, once we finish our focus group, then we'll plan on an uh, investment round in Q4 of this year, uh, just a seed round. Um, so our progress, we have prototypes deployed. We're currently testing the first four. Um, we have relationships that, uh, established with our design manufacturing firm and in discussions for a small batch production. Um, and you know, our next step is mentioned, we want to finish the Gen 2 design and then build out the focus group. So you know, kind of repeat what I'm saying here. This is, this is our timeline. We want to get this focus group established within the next, by April, so that we can uh, begin to get the feedback to integrate into our Gen 3 design. Um, our ask today, early adopters for a pilot uh, user group. Um, we'd be offering discounted pricing uh, in exchange for providing feedback on the product um, you know, through some type of form we create. And then also website sign up. Go to parcelplus.com, sign up for more information, and that's, uh, <coughs> you'd be you know, on, our, on our spam group, which we'd love to have you on it. <laughs> All right, that's it. There's our legal disclaimer that, you know, <laughs> love to work with us. So 